Hello everyone, this is Art from Gromeasure 3D, and this is a Geomagic Wrap tutorial. Today, let's take a look at how we can reverse engineer our meshes into CAD files. Geomagic Wrap allows us to extract reference geometry, like measurements, cross sections, planes, and other shapes that can be imported into SolidWorks or other CAD software. To get started on reverse engineering this model, let's extract a cylinder and a plane from this. This model is already aligned to the XY plane with the cylinder axis on the Z axis. To learn how to do that, look for the video in the description below. Extracting a reverse geometry in Geomagic Wrap is easy. It's just a matter of selecting parts of the mesh and best fitting a plane or other shapes to it. You should explore the variety of selection tools available in Geomagic Wrap, but for this, let's just use the Select by Angle tool. Click on our first cylinder. Notice that it's selected most of it, all the way around. Now go to the Features tab and let's best fit a cylinder. With our mesh selected, all we have to do is click Apply, and you'll notice how well the software has fit this feature. You should also take advantage of version 2021's analysis features, like this deviation map. This will help you create very precise reference geometry. Now let's fit a plane to the bottom. To make sure our reference plane is completely perpendicular to the XY plane, let's use the parallel through point method. For that, we just have to select the XY plane and one point on the bottom of this part. Click Apply and OK. Notice that our features are listed in the Model Manager on the left. Let's add the rest of our reference geometry before creating our cross sections. I'm going to add one more cylinder here. And then to be able to get all the measurements in my CAD software, I'm going to fit a plane to all the other flat surfaces. I'm going to hide my cylinders for now so I can access this notch. Now that I have all of my planes defined, I'll be able to measure the distances between them to extrude my shapes. Lastly, let's define our cross sections. Go to the Curves tab, click Create by Section, and make sure your plane is set to XY plane and your curve type to Line Arc. Now let's offset our cross section. To create an outline of this part, click Apply, offset it again, Hit apply. This mesh is now ready for reverse engineering in the CAD software of your choice. All we have to do is just save this file as an IGIS file. Make sure to export our cross sections and reference geometry in one file. Don't forget to look for part two of this video where I complete reverse engineering this part in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.